Everybody's in the house tonight. I'm Ellen Mkova from The Regal Vegan. We're here to shoot a little special called How to Make a Healthy Meal from the Food You Buy in a Bodega. I accept this challenge. Come with me and I will show you how you can accept this challenge. So your instinct might be, well, I want a quick meal. I'm just going to pick up some stew in a can. But there are some other solutions. Look for things that are whole foods. That means something that doesn't come in a box or a bag. A jar may be OK. We've got actual bananas, onions, garlic, lemons, limes. We've got a cat. We're going to pick up a, I'm going to pick up a tomato. Beans are probably the healthiest food you can find in a bodega, mostly because they're loaded with protein, they've got fiber. The thing you want to look out for, one serving of these beans has 20% of the sodium you need for the whole day, which means five servings of beans and you're salted out. We're going to cook them ourselves. Mexican style corn tortillas, other style corn tortillas, tomato paste. We're going to grab these beets. Spinach. Quick way to add flavor with anything, chipotle peppers. Try to get brown rice. Brown rice, of course, will take about twice as long to cook as regular rice, but you've got way more nutrition. You may need a basket. You're getting loaded up here. Cumin seeds add a lot of flavor. Coconut milk is a lovely way to pull something into a sauce. There's not a lot you can do with canned food, but liquid canned food, yeah, we're talking. How much for the cat? For the cat? Fantastic. 20 bucks. thing I'm going to do is quickly cook these beans. There are always instructions on the bag, but I'm going to jump them in some water, about three times as much water as you have beans. Throw a lid on, let them cook for two minutes on a boil. Shut the water off, let them sit for an hour, and then let them cook for about an hour and a half. Again, Goya will tell you how to do it right on the package. So the things that usually take longest to cook are things like brown rice. So that's why I'm going to use my handy dandy pressure cooker. Although if you don't have a pressure cooker, you just want to add a little bit more time. I'm going to add two cups of water for one cup of brown rice. Cap my handy dandy pressure cooker on there. and let that go. Once this comes up to pressure, it's gonna only take about 20 minutes. Plantain. So this plantain is gonna be the star of our dish today. I'm just cutting off the ends and I'm splitting it down the seam. Peel it open. The riper it is, the easier it's gonna to be to peel. Now, normally, the traditional way to have plantains is to fry them. But since we're going to be cooking them in a sauce, we're going to boil them for about 15, 20 minutes just to get the texture soft. So I'm going to start making the sauce. So if you don't have an onion handy, and you don't find an onion at the bodega, make sure you pick up extra onions. They keep for a long time. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm coating this pan with a little bit of olive oil. I like to get the pan hot first, and then I'm going to add my flavorings. So it's good to have a little bit of garlic at home. Garlic will pump up just about anything. Let this garlic cook for about 30 seconds. 
Add your onions. So I'm gonna take some of these chipotle peppers and chop them up. Like I said, the chipotles are gonna add a load of flavor, a load of smoke. Chipotle peppers are actually smoked jalapenos. And these are in an adobo sauce, which means tomato and salt and some sugar and some spices. An easier way to do this, you can just take the entire can of chipotle peppers, put it into a small food processor or a blender, and process it up. And then you have this puree. You can add it to just about anything, anytime. So what I've got in here now, I've got some coconut milk, some tomato paste, and some chipotle puree. Also some fried onions and garlic. Let this thicken up a little bit. The tomato's gonna add a lot of texture, a lot of flavor, but not a lot of work. Now I'm gonna go ahead and add about two cups of those beans that we cooked. At this point, you wanna check it for spiciness. I like things nice and spicy. You might like things a little bit less spicy, so you can add more chipotle puree as you like. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna go one full pepper in. Ah. Uh, lest we forget. Putting about a half a teaspoon to a teaspoon of salt in there. I'm gonna put the pepper in later and stir this up. We'll actually be making a pretty complete meal. We'll have protein, we'll have some fat, we'll have whole grains, and we'll have some fruits and veggies in there. And I bet we'll be able to easily serve four people with this meal. So I'm gonna check on our plantains. Oh yeah, these are nice and soft. Yeah. I just added the boiled plantains to this sauce. So now we've gotten here kidney beans, some boiled plantains, coconut milk, tomato paste, a little salt, onions and garlic and some chipotle puree. Just putting in some sliced beets. I think I want to put as many vegetables in here as I can. Now the, what'll happen is all of this stuff will absorb this sauce that we made, this tomatoey chipotle coconut milk sauce. Real quickly, I'm gonna toast some of these cumin seeds. I'm gonna get a little frying pan really hot and let these pop. Just until they become a little bit brown. If you don't have a mortar and pestle, you can get them at a lot of these Mexican bodegas or Chinese stores. Doing something like toasting cumin and then grinding it adds so much flavor to your food. Actually, any herbs, spices, find one that you like and experiment with it. I'm going to attempt to do something with these beets and spinach. I don't think all of the vitamin K has been cooked out of here yet. So one thing I'm going to do right away is I'm going to grate some lemon zest in here. This picks up the colors a little bit. There's a lemon. A 
a little bit of olive oil in there. I'm gonna go ahead and grate some ginger in here. Put a drop of agave nectar in here. Now all these flavors in here are gonna make it taste really alive. Even though out of a can, it's relatively dead. And we still have this tomato. I've mixed tomatoes, beets, lemon juice, ginger, canned spinach, olive oil and salt in a bowl. I don't know what's gonna happen. These things are awesome and gluten free. beet, plantain, kidney bean, chipotle stew. We got some brown rice with some toasted cumin seeds. Put a little cumin seed all around. You know what? I know what I'm gonna do with this tomato. This is what we're doing. Right here. Squeezing a little lime in here. the salt, touch of olive oil, voila, mmm, mmm, so that's how you can make a quick healthy meal from foods you buy in a bodega. I'm Ella from The Regal Vegan. Thanks for watching. watching.